Is it? Obviously sure. not, because yeah, look who's back. here. They're back. Dun, 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 dun. Slaughter. Uh, Skid Row. Uh, Nelson. Uh, uh, come on. Lanier. I mean, yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah, it's Lanier. Lanier. I know. It's yeah, been Lanier. so long. We've we've kind of sort of forgotten. Nah, we didn't forget. We um, did. You forgot? Yeah, that, I know. They forgot. They forgot who they were. But we're here today on Youth Quake to remind you of who these guys are and what they're doing. And uh, is that what we're going to do today? Yeah. Yeah, that's what that we're going to do bad. today. It, it's going to be the, the Youth Quake Lanier reunion kind of thing happening today. Um, here's what's coming up this half hour on Youth Quake. They're back. Charlie, Joey, and Wyatt. Lanier is here. And this half hour, they brought some friends with them. Get set for a wild and wacky time with those Lanier boys. Then it's a Youth Quake look at Station with Lanier and friends. And Youth Quake goes to the prom. All happening next. Youth Quake, we're back. And, well, right now, you know what we're going to do for the first time ever here on Youth Quake? Well, we're going to get serious with Charlie, Wyatt, and Joey. Yes, we are. Shh. We have gotten lots of mail, and everybody's saying, where's Lanier? Where are they? We haven't, like, seen them or heard from them. Where have you guys been, like, on the French Riviera or something? <coughs> I wish. <Yeah. laughs> we got back from Southeast Asia. We had that tour there. That went real well, successful. We built up a big following. And basically what we've been doing is keeping to ourselves and really working on the new album because we're going to come out with an explosion. Lanier exploded onto the music scene last year, skyrocketing the top of the charts with a record they put out themselves called Sending All My Love. Lanier spent last year touring all over the world, and Lanier fans are patiently awaiting a brand new album from the guys. So, what's up with a new record? Uh, we have strong material for the new album. We're working with uh, a lot of creative people, and uh, we're just excited to get it started. We're actually about i say about three songs deep into the album now in production-wise, so we only have about another eight or nine to go, right about there? Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah, and about nine to go, because oh. we're going to put about ten on the, on the cassette, on the album. We're going to put extra tracks on the CD. And hopefully uh, when the album comes out sometime in uh, July or August, we'll hit the road again. Can you talk about what kind of difference there's going to be, I mean, in the music? Well, we feel that um, right now uh, what's happening on radio pretty much is uh, very marketable, uh, I guess you could say uh, dance music, but it's classified as pop and rap. Anything nowadays is, is top 40 material. So we just feel that if we can give our audience a little bit of uh, rock and roll, a little bit of dance, and a little bit of rap, I kind of think uh, we can go out there and just make a real good record. Lanier can be heard singing on Brandon's new release, Kisses in the Night, and recently played a show in San Jose with Brandon, one of Lanier's biggest shows of the past year. The past year has been full of ups and downs for Charlie, Joey, and Wyatt, but they say they've learned a lot. We learned a lot of stuff. The only way you're going to learn something is by getting in and trying to do it. And we really learned, I think we're more well-rounded this time, and we know what direction we want to take the album, more so than the first direction. So when it comes out, it'll be a more learned Lanier, a bigger linear, a bigger production. I think it'll be, it'll be the album for us. This will be our year. Yeah, this is definitely going to be our year. Something that we always say that uh, being on the road and everything like that, you couldn't learn in college or anything. It just has to be an experience. We lost a lot of friends and gained a lot of friends this year, I guess for all the wrong and right reasons. But uh, we pretty much stayed together. And we're still sitting here, you know, a year and a half later. So we feel that uh, we've bypassed probably the hardest part now, and you know, we're just going to keep going. Well, everyone is definitely looking forward to seeing and hearing a lot more from Lanier in the future. But for now, while we wait, we'll just have to flash back to some classic Lanier. When you're gone, when you're gone. 